Everyone loves an RC drift car and today we're taking a look at something really, really cool. Oh, and here it is. I'm so excited to take a look at this. This is the Werewolf. 56 miles per hour. That's interesting. Now this is based on the BMW E30 M3. Now this is one tenth scale. It looks incredible on the box. So I think it's time we take a closer look. So here it is, this is the new Werewolf by h &R. This thing looks fantastic. I think it's probably one of the best looking cars I've had on the channel this year. Now some of you who are watching closely may have recognized that this does look like a car that I have featured in the past. And yes, I'm talking about the FTX Stinger. That is pretty much exactly the same as this, but this one has the BMW body. And that FTX Stinger is absolutely incredible. It's one of the best 2 to 3S ready on road bashers out there. But if you had to pick which body would you go for, I think I would go for this one. Now, every angle that you look at this car from, it just looks so good. I do like the molded plastic grille on the front. That looks really cool. It also has LED lights, which I'll show you a little bit later. The wheels and tires do look as if they're exactly the same as the FTX version. We have a cool little spoiler on the back. I'll tell you what I have noticed, and that is that this has two body clips on the back, nothing on the front. I think that's a really cool mounting system and it definitely helps. Not having the two body clips at the front there really makes the car look more realistic. So of course we do get a set of wing mirrors as well. Taking a look on the back, it looks like we've got a rear diffuser and there's our exhaust tips. They look really cool as well. Now we'll take the body off and take a closer look underneath, but before we do that, let's take a look at what we get in the box. So here we have our manual. It looks like we've got an optional sway bar in there. Also some shock preload spacers and some decals. Here we have a set of drift wheels and tires. Now I'm not a massive fan of the drift tires. I did test them out on the FTX version. I actually prefer these, the tires that actually come pre-fitted. They're a nice medium compound and they seem to work really well. So I'm probably not gonna test the drift tires today. We'll just stick with these. Finally, here we have the transmitter. Now, of course, this is a Dumbo RC. You can see that straight away. And that is a good thing because these are actually really good. We don't get a foam grip on the wheel, but that doesn't really matter because these are still really comfortable to use. So under here, we have our steering trim and steering jewel rate and our throttle trim and throttle jewel rate. Channel five will control the gyro. And I wonder if that's set up properly on this one because on the previous one, it wasn't. And loads of people cried about the gyro being reversed on the old one. From what I can remember, it's a very simple fix. So we'll take a look at that if it comes to it. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this. This is quite nice. Now that is it, you don't get a battery in a box. You will have to provide your own battery and charger and this will run 2S or 3S. And if this is anything like the FTX version I've tested in the past, 2S is gonna be more than enough. From what I can remember, everything started getting a little bit twitchy on 3S. 2S is more than enough for this chassis. All right, so let's take a closer look under the body. Oh, you kind of have to push forward to release it. Doesn't this body look cool? So under here we have our LED light controller. This thing is covered in LED lights. I really like that. Now it doesn't look like there's any major changes on this version compared to the other one that I've tested in the past. Maybe a slight change with the ESC cover, but apart from that, pretty sure it's exactly the same. Now this does have your usual features as you would expect. Of course it has oil field adjustable shocks. We've got metal CVDs at the front, metal dog bones on the rear, a metal center drive shaft. There is a lot of plastic on this car. Of course, like I said before, we have a plastic rear diffuser. This has metal differentials, metal gears, ball bearings throughout. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I just want to see this thing running. I also want to take a closer look at the LED lights. So let's get a battery in it. Let's fire it up and let's see how it performs. Now, remember when I said I think this is one of the best looking RC cars I've had on my channel this year? Well, I'm going to give you the chance to own this very car. All you need to do is head over to Raffle after this video. So I've got this powered on. Let's see what the gyro is doing. Oh, it's not set up correctly. I'm going to have to reverse it. Now, all you need to do is click this little button in twice on the side of the receiver and we should be good to go. There we go. It was that simple. 
now we should be good to go so let's have a very quick look at the led lights now you switch those on using the channel 4 button on the transmitter they look really cool i think this also has indicators yes it does and i think there's a way to switch the hazard lights on i think you have to turn to the right three times really quickly yep there we go see if we can turn them off no maybe turn to the left yeah that seemed to work now on the back is pretty much the same story there we have our indicators have we got a reversing light on this yes we have how cool does this car look i really like this right so let's do a 2s speed run and see how fast this goes let's start the gps now i think this is going to do all right on 2s but on 3s things will start to get a bit twitchy because that's what happened with the ftx stinger 3S, in my opinion, is far too much for this, for this chassis. That's full throttle. That is full throttle again. Yeah, it's already becoming a little bit twitchy. I have got the gyro turned down. Just probably about 10% gyro. This isn't a speed run car. It's not made for speed runs. It's made for some drifting action. Let's bring it back, let's see what we got. So let's hit stop and read. 36 miles per hour. Yeah, that's not too bad for 2S. Right, I've got a 3S pack in there now. I've got a feeling this is gonna become a bit of a handful to control, but we'll give it a go anyway. Let's start the GPS. Let's see if we can get a full throttle pass. I'm gonna ease it in. It's already really twitchy. Nope, lost it. I mean, this isn't a speed run car. I know I said it about 30 seconds ago, probably, but it's not a speed run car. This is made for on-road bashing and for a bit of drift action. This isn't made to be a fast on-road car. Oh, lost it again. Yeah, I think that's enough of 3S. So let's hit stop and read. 42 miles per hour so not quite the 56 that they put on the box and even at 42 it's incredibly twitchy now i knew it wouldn't handle 3s very well i've seen some other videos out there as well it just becomes too twitchy the gyro doesn't really help this thing is made to do this now this is made to be an on-road basher it's not really meant for speed runs but i wanted to try and get a decent 3s run out of it anyway i tell you what we need to do. We need to switch those headlights on. I love this thing, it handles so well. Look, I'm gonna try and show you how easy it is to drift this thing using one hand. Now I have got a little bit of gyro switched on. This thing is incredibly easy to drive one-handed. And now I'm not cheating. <laughs> what a beast. Now this thing drives pretty much exactly the same as the FTX version. Nothing's really changed apart from the body. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see an FTX version of this exact car. That's full throttle on 2S. What an absolute weapon. And the LED lights look really good actually. So there we go then guys, what do you think of that? What an impressive machine. 
Now, a lot of people cried last time because the gyro wasn't set up properly, and I've demonstrated today just how easy it is to put right. And one channel did take it above and beyond. I'm not gonna mention any names, but what I will say is it involves this. Now, if you want one of these, I will leave a link down below so you can head over to Banggood, check these out because I've got a feeling these are gonna be incredibly popular. And if you're in the UK and you prefer the look of the FTX Stinger, of course, go for that one. I'll also leave a link down below for that. Or if you want a chance to win one of these for really cheap, you can head over to Raffle after watching this video and grab a couple of tickets. Now, because I've had so much fun with this one today, I'm even gonna throw in a brand new set of tires. And one final thing, I wanna say a huge thank you to everyone who has supported the channel. We've now crossed 40,000 subscribers. And when I first started out, I never thought I'd get to such a large number. Now there's no time to rest because I need to keep pushing. I wanna reach the goal of 100,000 subscribers. And this is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Well, I know quite a few people watch my channel, but they don't choose to subscribe. And you really should because it doesn't actually cost you anything. Let me know in the comments what you make of this new car. Cheers for watching, see you on the next one. Take care. Now, if you wanna check out the FTX Stinger that I reviewed, click the top video now. Or if these are a little bit out of your budget, click the bottom video to check out a really cool, cheap alternative.